Welcome back to Only Talk Sports, where we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Jeffrey, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Arizona State just fired Herm Edwards. And this right here is kind of shocking to an extent. Not for some people, but for others, it kind of is a little bit shocking. But if you were following college football, it's probably not shocking, and I'll tell you why. Herm Edwards and Arizona State were under NCAA investigations and for during the virus that some players were invited on recruiting visits when they were not allowed to. The NCAA said that players could not visit at certain times during the virus. They did. And even though Herm Edwards said, you know, that, that the school said Herm Edwards didn't have anything to do with it and it was the assistant coaches and some assistants got fired, Herm Edwards was still under fire for it. And what do you do if you want to avoid getting fired when you have NCAA investigation? You win. And unfortunately, Arizona State was not winning enough. In his first few seasons as head coach, he was 25-18, and 18, which is decent. It's not great, but it's decent. But then he lost Jane Daniels to LSU, which he, you know, he was a good quarterback, and they brought in Emory Jones from Florida. But he lost a lot of players to the transfer portal. It was a mess. You know, all the, a, lot, a lot of assistant coaches, again, were fired. He had to replace them. And when all that stuff's going on, it, it creates problems. And you come into this season, and Arizona State's like, you got to win more if you want to keep your job. They lose to Oklahoma State, and it's like, that's fine. But then last night, they lost to Eastern Michigan 31-20. to and that that was it. I, th I think that that's that was the end result for Herm Edwards losing to Eastern. It was thirty to twenty one, and uh, that was it. Uh, you, you can't lose to Eastern Michigan. It's kind of like Scott Frost. Scott Frost, he's already in on on in a thin ice at Nebraska, and you lose to Georgia Southern forty five forty two, and that's all she wrote. You, you're done. Unfortunately, Herm Edwards, he had a much better record. He was 26-20 and 20 as the head coach at Arizona State. So a much better record, obviously, than Scott Frost. But Arizona State, you had the investigations, and now Arizona State's just done with Herm Edwards. He is out. He is no longer the head coach. It's going to be very interesting to see where they go moving forward. They're going to have to get an intern coach just like Nebraska has with Mickey Joseph, and they're going to have to figure out who they want as head coach in the future. But it's kind of sad because, you know, I, I don't have anything against Herm Edwards. Herm Edwards was, a, you know, an NFL coach. And, I mean, he's, he's had success in the past. I know I think we don't need the Jets coach. He didn't really win too much there. But but he's, he's fired at Arizona State. He's no longer the head coach. It's kind of sad to see, like I said. It's going to be interesting to see what Arizona State does moving forward. But I don't think if, the, if they hadn't had the investigation, I think he'd still be the head coach because a 26-20 and 20 record is not bad. He took him to a couple bowl games. It's not like he was you know, just a flat-out loser. He, he won games. He wasn't terrible. But the investigation just put over the top. Kind of like Sean Miller in basketball last year for Arizona. He had the investigations, and they weren't winning as much, so they got rid of him. Uh, two years ago, and that's the way it was here. If Herm Edwards had a one more, they would have kept him. If you didn't have the investigation, they would have kept him. But since they weren't winning enough in the NCAA investigations against him, they got rid of Herm Edwards. It's sad to see him go. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Herm Edwards and Scott Frost in the future to see what, what they do in their future careers. But again, Arizona State has fired Herm Edwards after a few seasons, and now they're going to have to find a new coach because if not, things could get ugly in Tempe, Arizona. Subscribe to the channel for more sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Herm Edwards getting fired at Arizona State, whether it was deserved or not. And I will see you next time.